14 years ago today. The Red Sox were in the midst of an 86-year wait for a World Series title themselves. That streak looked to continue. Boston dropped the first three games of the ALCS to the Yankees, but in Game 4, the fortunes of the franchise would soon change forever. Big Poppy and Alex, take it away. Thanks, KB. So uh, we're going to go down memory lane a little bit here, Big Poppy. I remember 2004, uh, I was 28 years old. You were 27. Uh, well, at least 27. Hey, be careful, man. <laughs> um, and we were up 3-0. We had just beat the piss out of you in game three. We were thinking, we're going to the World Series. And we had Mariano Rivera on the mound. He pitched a, a clean eighth inning. And here comes goofy Kevin Millar. He concerned me for two reasons. Number one, he's a right-handed hitter. Righties always saw and hit Mariano better. Better, yeah. And Kevin, as goofy as he is, that man can hit. Oh, yeah. And he knows the strike zone. Oh, yeah. And I also knew that he didn't give a crap about Mariano. He was going to fight him tooth and nail. Walk, and there's life for the Red Sox. Before Millard drew that walk, Before. did you think it was over? You know you're facing the best of the best at the time, but your instinct and, and, and what you are supposed to do is just fight back. And that's exactly what we end up doing. We have Dave Roberts coming in, still in the bag. Roberts is going. Posada's throw. Roberts, safe. Posada throws a bullet. Perfect. Yeah. Jeter makes a perfect tag. He yeah. just gets in there. What are you thinking at that point? We have men in second with Mariano pitching. That is something that you barely see guys get into first base mm -hmm. uh, uh, where Mariano was in the mound. But getting to second base, that, that just, you saw the whole crowd going crazy. Mm -hmm. You saw, uh, it seems like everything come back alive. But I had a question for you, Ada. Yeah. When, when, when you guys, uh, uh, as a Yankee, start feeling the pressure, when you guys start feeling like you guys were in trouble? When Miller was at the plate, and I knew very vividly in my mind that the home run as a walk-off was that day game in Fenway earlier that year. And I also knew he won the batting title. But because it was Mariano Rivera, I felt like we had, you know, Superman on the mound. Up the middle, Roberts will come to the plate. Bill Miller has tied it. I'm watching the whole thing, and now the motivation and the momentum it feels like it's going on our way. Mm. Even if we were 3-0. Oh. Mm. It almost felt like at that point you had nothing to lose. You were playing with the house's money, and we had all the recourse on us. We had to now finish, and we had the responsibility to close, and obviously we never closed. But I'll, I'll share one thing with you, Poppy, is, and, and this was a bad feeling that I got. In uh, the bottom of the eighth inning, after the eighth was over, Mariano just had a one, two, three. You're feeling pretty good. I went down to get an extra set of batting gloves. It was super cold that night. And I couldn't get in my, in my locker because it was full of plastic and all the champagne was ready and everyone was ready to party. And I was so pissed off that I said, screw the batting gloves. I said, why are these things up? And I just kind of walked out. And I just didn't like that because I am a believer that you never celebrate till it's truly over. The temperature continues to fall here in Boston as we move to the bottom of the 12, the 4-4 game. You know how we approach preachers. We go back to the history that we have mm -hmm. with them, and you make up your mind. Mm -hmm. As I was getting mature and, 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 and getting more experience, and I used to work on history and result. Mm -hmm. And it was three homers that I hit during those playoffs that I expect those pitchers to give me those pitches. Mm. Control, Paul, when he was with the Blue Jays, mm -hmm. he had that front door fastball that he would throw right at you and boom, come back to the plate. And the minute I saw him mm. coming out of the bullpen, I went to looking for the front door That's fastball. Right. Ortiz in the deep right field. We'll see you later tonight. I'm glad that that home run you hit of Quantro decorated your, your life. It ruined mine. And decorated yours, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, this is the most now torturous. Now you know as well. <laughs> this is the most torturous segment I've ever done in my Fox career. Thank you very much, Poppy. So like therapy. KB, back to you. <laughs> I'm a therapist. <laughs> the doctor, Poppy. <laughs>